How does it work? A high voltage substation breaker. So this is the breaker itself. This is on a bus. As you can see, there's several breakers that are all fed from the same power source here, which is this transformer over here. That is uh, 34,500 volts coming out onto this bus. But in on the high side where those big bushings are on top of it, it comes in at 345,000 volts. So that's another story what that does. But these switches are open for maintenance so this can be grounded and maintained. But in order to do that, the current has to actually be broken inside here. These tanks are filled with SF6, sulfur hexafluoride, which is a very dense gas and it's inert and that's what is used to break the arc. The arc would not break if you just opened these switches. Watch a couple of videos and you can see what happens if somebody tries to open one of these switches while current's on it. It's not very pretty. The way that this mechanism works in here to operate this breaker is there's an electric motor that spins an air pump. The air pump fills this air tank and then from out of this air tank you see this very large, it's probably like inch and a half to two inch hose that comes into this unloader valve. And when this valve is signaled to operate it sends a huge puff of air into this mechanism which operates clunk to close the breaker. Now, the breaker is in the open position, so this, this spring here, which is the trip spring, is discharged. But when the breaker closes, it actually charges this spring so that the spring has a stored trip on it. So even if there's no air or no energy, this still has the ability to open the breaker, even if it's uh, e even in the absence of electric controls, it can be operated manually in an emergency in order to break current because that is the main function of this. And there are alarms that tell you if it's running low on gas, which would affect its ability to break the current. But that is the short story of how these work and what their purpose is.